Hello everyone, I'm Taylor Bampico. For today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Glock Model 40. Now before I go any further, I'll make sure this firearm is clear. Empty. Let's continue, shall we? By now, I'm sure you're aware I'm a fan of long slide pistols. I mean, I have the Glock 17L and I have the AMT Hardballer long slide. However, I figured why not add a 10 mil to the mix? And a great thing about the Model 40 as well as the Model 20 is they both have a 15 round capacity. I'm sure there are large capacity magazines for the Model 40 as well as the Model 20, which is just the standard size of the 10 mil. Though I haven't looked for a larger magazine capacity for this gun, if it's not made by Glock, I might be a bit leery on it. Now, if Magpul offered a large capacity magazine for this gun, I might be more inclined. Glock does offer quite a few models with the MOS cutout on the slide. The Model 40 is no exception. In addition to the MOS cutout, it does have traditional sights. These, of course, are adjustable. And because this gun does offer the option to install a red dot, in time I probably will add one and more than likely go with one made by Trigicon. I've also been on the fence on whether or not I want to have this gun Seracode to resemble a blaster from Rick and Morty. I mean, come on, it's kind of cool to have a Nintendo Zapper 17L and then a Rick and Morty blaster Model 40. But I'm not sure yet. The first 10mm I shot was not added of the actual Model 40, it was out of the Glock 20, side by side with the Colt Delta Elite. While the recoil was very manageable in the Model 20 and the Delta Elite, it's even more manageable in this firearm. After shooting both those firearms, I was sold on the 10mm, so when this one actually came to my attention, I had to get one as soon as I found one. And of course, with everything going on now, finding this one was a bit more difficult. But being patient paid off, and now I have one. Now, while I did like Colt Delta Elite, for the cost, I'm just going to go with the Glock 40. However, that doesn't mean one day I won't get a Delta Elite as well. I also had the opportunity to shoot this side by side with a Glock Model 22, which is chambered in 40 S and W. And while I'm not the biggest fan of the 40 s and cartridge, if I were going to get one chambered in that, I would just get the Glock 22. Overall, I really do like this firearm. Anyone who's looking to get into 10 mil, I recommend either this one or the Model 20. Well, anyway, that was my review on the Glock Model 40. If you enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Click that bell icon so you're notified when I upload new content. Leave any comments you have in the section below and have a good day. See ya!